Alrighty, so today's lesson um, is on the last part of an essay, which is the conclusion. Um, this is, to carry along the burger metaphor, the second or final bun. It keeps it tidy and it finishes the burger off nicely. To recap from the previous video, um, main body paragraphs come before your conclusion. Ideally, you want to have three of them. They're the most important. They develop your argument. They get the evidence and explanation details when it comes to your argument. Um, and it's up to you how you structure them. And you'll be taught a range of different ways over your course of English. But the peel structure, point, um, example, explanation, link is really meaningful and works really well for that. Basically, you want to make sure you've got all your key details, you're linking to the question, you've got evidence to back it up, and you're explaining that as well. But today's about conclusions. So what is a conclusion? How does it work? What's the point of having them? They act to summarize your idea and argument over the course of the essay. So they round it all off so you don't just abruptly finish with your last main body paragraph point. They have a lot of similarities to an introduction. So they kind of got aspects of them that are almost like an introduction in reverse or an introduction at the other end of your report. Um, and we'll show that through in a, in a moment and I'll show you what's similar about them. They're your opportunity after you've done a summary of your argument, a summary of your main points to reflect on what you've learnt or thought about or felt or realised after writing the essay and reading the text and reflecting on that aspect. So throughout the essay, you would have been talking about a character, a relationship, a theme, an event, a setting, conflict, anything like that. So by the time you get to the end of the essay, you have effectively become an expert on that matter. So when it gets to your conclusion, it's really important to use it as an opportunity to reflect on that. What have you learned from that? What's the author trying to make you think or feel when you do that? So offering that is what makes a conclusion go from very basic to actually pretty decent, depending on the detail and the thought that you put in there. So conclusions, some people fob off is not that important. And whilst your main body paragraphs are super important, your conclusion is your last opportunity to show your marker that you understand what you're talking about. Um, and it's your last chance to impress them with some thoughts or reflections. So they definitely are important and cannot be denied. So what I thought I'd show you is um, an introduction from uh, a previous activity or workshop uh, is at the top. And then down the bottom is the conclusion that would sort of match it. So the introduction is, in the novel Hatchet by Gary Paulson, an important setting is the Boreal Forest in Canada. You'll recognize this if you've watched um, the other video. The novel is about a young teenage boy called Brian who has to crash land a plane in the Canadian wilderness and learn to survive. This setting is important because it helps us to learn about the theme of survival. The important setting is shown when Brian lands the plane, Brian makes a fire, making a fire, and Brian's firing a tornado. So this is the conclusion version of it. So in conclusion, this is an all right sentence starter. Not exciting. I don't like it, but it's fine. In conclusion, an important setting in the novel Hatchet is the boreal forest. Okay, so it's got those keywords there again. It's referenced the text type and title. You don't have to do this again because you have done it in the introduction, but you're more than welcome to. And it says it's the Boyle Forest. So it's taking the same information from the introduction because it's the same thing that we've talked about. This setting is very important as we can see the theme of survival and how Brian's character had to adapt to this harsh setting. So it's sort of summarising and repeating that again. We see this when Brian lands the plane, makes a fire and survives a tornado, all events that take place in the setting. So it's repeated that information, uh, the main points that come here at the end of this introduction, that's come into the conclusion again. So that's a lot of repetition. But this is the thing that sets it apart from just summarising or repeating information is this bit here. Through this setting, I have learned that sometimes we have to adapt to harsh times and struggle a bit, but if we are determined and focused, we can do anything. So it's that last sentence that really lifts it from being a pretty dull, repetitive conclusion to actually offering something that is a little bit more and possibly sowing a secure knowledge or engagement with the text, which is really important for the marker to see. So ultimately, summarising the argument by putting the keywords and referencing the question again, putting the main points in, just like that introduction, but then the key detail is adding this little point in here. All right, so if you're looking at that, and that is an example of an introduction and an example of a conclusion that would ultimately match. So these are the top bun and the bottom bun of the 
uh, SA Burger. Now it's time to try and piece this together and do this yourself. So using the information um, below, try and formulate a conclusion by yourself. So even if you haven't read the story or you know it um, from the other previous videos and just from that slide before, you should hopefully have a slight indication about what the story is about. So if we're looking at an interesting character being the questions, the argument is that Brian's character is interesting because he went through a bizarre experience, which means crazy or different. Um, and that he, the main points were that he had to crash a plane, he had to eat turtle eggs, and he survived a tornado. So if you can assume that about a character, you think about why that makes them interesting and maybe what you could learn about a character from that. Like if somebody went through that, what would that maybe mean about their character or show you? Um, the previous one had a, a conclusion sentence starter. My preferred sentence starter for a um, conclusion is ultimately. I just think it flows a little bit nicer and it sounds a little bit less formulaic. But in conclusion or to conclude is perfectly fine as well. So if you want to use that sentence starter there um, and give it a go trying to formulate your own conclusion using the information that's provided. So watch that bit before if you're still a bit stuck about what you need to do. But basically a conclusion needs to summarize your main points. It needs to reference them again, reference the question, reference your argument, and then build upon it with a reflection or a lesson that you've learned. All right, so assuming that you can do that, it might look a little bit like this. So if you see to the left hand side of the screen, I have put up the information again, just to make it a little bit easier. So here's a conclusion that I would form using that information. Ultimately, Brian's character is interesting because he went through a truly bizarre experience, but it only made him braver and stronger. He did not back down from the challenge. So that's my ultimately, that's why they're interesting, that's my argument summarized there. Now I'm summarizing my key points again. We see Brian's interesting character best when his plane is crashing, he eats turtle eggs and he survives a tornado. So that's my main point. And now I move on to my argument. These events show his bravery and admirable response to tough scenarios. So that's my argument summarized again, why he's interesting. And now I go on to my reflection. Through Brian's interesting character, I have learned that life will not always be easy, but it is up to me to choose my response. So I have to approach things head on and never give up. So that would show to the marker that you have a really clear reflection on why they're an interesting character. So rather than just summarizing your points, you've actually built a little bit of explanatory detail or engagement with the text, which shows your awareness of the ideas. And ultimately, if you're teetering between two grades, it's really going to help to your grade. So I've done it again, this is the exact same um, conclusion, and I've just color coordinated it to sort of show you. So the yellow is the argument, um, which is your main sort of focus for the essay, which is why they are that way. The blue is the summary of the main points, so just like you would see in an introduction, and then the green at the bottom there is the reflection. You may also put in there something along the lines of the author's purpose. Um, and you may have put something about an emotion or a response from that. So that's up to you, but a reflection on what you've learned is just as good. So this was an introduction from a previous video about C. Simon, um, and it followed the question about a likable character and why they are likable. So it could be likable or dislikable. So that was the introduction. Um, you'll see that you had the information uh, the text information, so text type, text title, author, plot, key words in the question, arguments set up, and then your main points here. Those were the key aspects of that introduction. So now it's time to think about um, making a conclusion. So you can use the same information from the introduction, and the information is there on the side. So if Simon's character is likable, He's likable because he's brave and has a good sense of humor. It's shown when he plays football, looks after a child and talks about telephones. Um, so considering that, thinking about why um, you could learn something from it. So if Simon, as you see in the introduction, has muscular dystrophy and is a teenage boy um, and he has difficulties that he faces and that makes him a likable character because there's a good sense of humor and he is brave, a reflection that you could form from there. 
have a go trying to write your own conclusion from that. And if you've done that, hopefully it will look a little bit like this. So I've used a different sentence starter here. To conclude, Simon's character is extremely likable throughout the text as even though he has muscular dystrophy, he refuses to let that change his personality and get him down. Simon's likable character is best shown when he is playing football, when he's looking after a child and when he's talking about telethons. These moments help to show his vivacious approach to life. Throughout Simon, sorry, through Simon's likable character, I have learned that times can be difficult and we all face struggles, but we should we can choose our attitude. Simon refused to let his illness define him and kept positive. This is something I can do too. So once again, I put that in colours for us there. So the yellow is the arguments or link to your argument or your focus. The blue is the main points and the green there is the reflection that is formed from writing about Simon's likeable character and having a think about it. So if you haven't got one down, you can copy that one down and have a bit of a look and a bit of an understanding of conclusions once again. So to conclude on conclusions, they are effectively a summary paragraph to finish or round off an essay. They're between two and four sentences long, depending on how you write them and how you structure them. You might find that you can list your argument and main points in one sentence, and then you've just got one sentence of reflection. Just depends how you write. They should summarise your argument, list your main points again, and then offer a lesson learnt or a reflection on the text. Now, a reflection may be on the author's purpose. It may be on your personal response. That's kind of up to you to determine. And they are important, even though they do sometimes just feel like you're repeating the exact same information from the introduction. The lesson learnt or reflection um, is really important for this, and it is your last opportunity to show the marker that you understand the text and you know your stuff. So they are definitely definitely important. All right, hopefully that clarifies conclusions just a little bit or recaps conclusions for you. Adios.